Alright, it's about 1 o'clock now. Um, I was up at 10 a.m. this morning, um, which, um, you know, this kind of stagger is a bit more normal. Um, kind, of, kind of jumping back and forth like that. Um, so yeah, I was up at 1 today. Sorry, up at 10 today. It's now 1, and I'm just going into the room to troubleshoot. Um, that's really all I plan on doing today, so um, it's not going to be much of a vlog. Um, no food vlog today because I just had leftovers. Um, I'm sure you saw the size of that uh, plate of spaghetti. I didn't quite get through all of it. Um, in fact, I only got through maybe about three quarters of it. So, um, what was left was more or less enough for a small meal today. I might eat again later, but um, we'll find out. I probably won't. I'll probably just wait till tomorrow. So actually, um, it's about 7 o'clock right now. Um, I actually spent um, a good part of the afternoon sleeping. Um, I, I was going to um, take the final step in not smoking um, this week, um, but I, I, I really want to fix this. I want to be focused on it. Um, I, I, whenever I try to quit smoking, I get really tired for a long period. So my, my kind of plan for months has been finish this record first, um, and, and then after that I have um, a lot of um, file um, keeping to do, um, and I, I should be able to, you know, get everything I want done um, over that period while I'm quitting smoking. Um, right now I don't think I'll be able to focus enough on this, so I'm back to smoking for a little bit. Um, when I reopened this up, um, I noticed that the drivers were kaput. Um, it's um, an issue I've been dealing with for a little while where it sounds like it's through a limiter, I'm not getting the highs, um, and it's the same issue, it's through the mixer, it's through, um, it's through the amp, um, it's the, the stability I had in the signal has gone. The best guess I can think of as to what caused that was that there was a power outage. Um, the mixer was off during the power outage, but um, maybe something didn't shut down right, or when it rebooted um, it came up wrong. So. Um, I've removed the drivers um, through the device manager, which was the Alesis drivers um, as well as the M-Audio drivers, um, and I've um, also uninstalled the FireWire um, device itself. Um, I, I've noticed that that seems to make a big difference, um, is reinstalling the FireWire drivers. Um, and um, I'm going to reboot this and see what happens. Yeah, so unfortunately when this came up, um, it... It, it, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Um, it, it, it swung back to the issue I was having previously with the drivers, which is that um, it would be right for about a split second, and then there would be this like click that would come in, and when the click came in, I started getting all kinds of weird sounds. Right, so as soon as I turn it on and I press play, it's fine, and then like you can hear it click, and I, I don't know exactly what it's doing. I think it's something to do with the Windows drivers. Um, and I'm pretty sure I had isolated it to um, a specific um, driver. It's mskssrv.sys. Um, there was a difference in order um, in how um, it had come up. Um, initially, I had installed the sound card drivers first and then installed the mskssrv afterwards. Um, and it sounded good from there. So what I'm trying to do now, um, I've got to set up the turn on when I hit the space bar. Um, <coughs> um, now what I'm trying to do, um, well, I, I've uninstalled the MSK SSRV um, and the drivers, um, and now I'm going to install the drivers without the MSK SSRV. Um, it should sound pretty good from there, at least. Um, I should at least be getting the basic sound right, um, and then when I reinstall the MSK SSRV, that should be the um, extra little bit that makes it sound proper again. But basically I'm back to square root 1 here. Um, this is the put to come up. Got my install script there first. This is really just a, well, sorry, not, that wasn't an install script, sorry, that was a startup script. Um, the first one just deletes a bunch of temp files, and the second one um, is actually a backup, um, so that when I'm reinstalling, I've got um, all my settings that I want. Um, plug 
plugin settings there and isotope stuff, line 6 stuff. Start menu, more line 6 stuff. Guitar rig stuff, okay. So I'm going to reinstall this driver. I've got to set it up so I have to do that. Um, it's a mild annoyance, but it's better um, than having um, who knows what install when you're not paying attention. Um, it, it just it, it prevents um, undesirable drivers from installing um, because the prompt will come up. I should point out that I'm not connected to the internet either, um, because I have a kind of a schizophrenic fantasy that somebody might be um, messing with me. Although if they're messing with me, they've been messing with me for a long time. Um, <laughs> I, the more rational perspective on that is that um, because the FireWire is a network device, um, it may be um, in some way connected um, to the network card. Um, it, it might be screwing something up, so I've just got the network card disconnected altogether. Um, let's just put it there. And on the first install, um, I expect it to be a little high. Let's see if I get that. It sounds better. Yeah, I'm getting more of a sound stage. Yeah. Okay. So this seems to at least um, have resolved the click issue, I think. One of the things I'm testing to see is if I can get a horns here. Yeah, the, I'm getting the right sound out of it. Anyways. Um, okay, so that's better than it was with the clock. So I've just confirmed what I already knew, which is that um, on my install script, um, I, I've got it set up so that um, it deletes the MSK SSRV as a part of the install. I don't exactly remember exactly why um, I did that. I think I thought it was actually a Windows Media um, file. Um, I, I have huge install scripts that delete massive amounts of things. Um, this is the big delete, and it's well, it's 100 kilobytes of deletion um, of text. <laughs> um, which is quite a bit. Um, so as you can see, it deletes a lot of stuff. Um, and one of the things that it does delete is the MSK SSRV and with the MSPQM and the other things related to that. Um, as mentioned, I, I initially thought it was to do with um, Windows Media, and, and it does, but um, the drivers seem to need it for something. But I don't want to install it first, I want to install it afterwards. So what I've been doing every time I reinstall um, is I've been waiting to reinstall it. Now, if I don't install it at all, it does sound pretty good, but it does make a little bit of a difference to, 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 to redo it. Um, and this is kind of the um, ambiguity. Um, I do think that um, some of the mixing I was doing um, is going to be, or it was imprecise. Um, some of it had it with it installed, some of it didn't. Um, but, 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 I mean, what, whether I install it afterwards or not makes a much smaller difference than whether it's installed in the first place. So, um, I always want to reboot after I do the um, driver install. Um, it, it does make a small difference, so I'm just whether or not um, you've got the right things loading on startup. Um, but I, I do think um, that I probably have the right bass sound here. But I'm back to where I was I, again, I guess, last month. 
um, where I've got to slowly sit down and listen to, you know, two hours uh, to make sure that all the little um, ambiguities are there um, and that it's stable um, because one of the problems that I'm dealing with is fading um, in the drivers, so i got to make sure that's stable again. Um, I think that um, from what I've seen, I should expect it will be. Um, but it's hard to say. And that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the night. See, this is what happens whenever I open Cubase. Um, I get that going there. Now, even just launching this um, is enough to really screw the drivers. Um, this, this thing here. Um, so what I did last time that seemed to kind of work was that um, I opened Cubase connected to the M audio card. So I've got my mixer off. Um, it, it takes a while to load because it's expecting that. Um, and then what I do is I launch that um, and then I disable the um, plugin um, from within Cubase and then I reinstall it afterwards. Um, so that it, it launches but it's connect, it seems to be mostly connected to this. Um, I'm actually still not sure um, if what happened was um, related to the power out or if it was just the result of, of rebooting enough times that um, it got reconnected. So um, I'm, I'm going to repeat what I did before, um, but I'm going to reboot um, several times to see um, if I get that um, you know, clicking and fading again, um, or um, if, if it kind of stays um, stable. Um, if it does, I'm actually going to jump right to um, Cubase. Um, and see if I can get it stable there, uh, because I've already tested this. Um, I, I seem to be at the same spot I was at before, um, indicating that um, at, it, it does seem to have been an issue with this um, with this thing. Um, but but what I'm not sure is if it's an order issue, um, or if it's the thing itself. Um, if it's the thing itself, then I'm going to want to actually just disable it, um, which is what I intended to do in the first place. Um, but what I haven't done. Um, I know that um, if I just leave it like this, um, it, it will screw the drivers. <laughs> so um, I, I need to actually install it um, or disable it. Um, one or the two, I can't, I can't just leave it like that. Um, I'll know in a few minutes. Okay, I think I might have found a, a, a point of failure. Um, for years I have had, like, like honestly for years, since before I even moved in here, um, I've had that mixer connected to the tape one monitor, um, and and it's, I mean the levels were fine. Um, if I plugged, if I took it out of the phones and put it in there and then put it back, I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference really. Um, but what I was noticing from testing it here was that I was definitely getting a, a, a much smaller signal here, um, which um, might have been part of the um, muffle. Um, issue. Um, I, I, I've, I had remarked on my Facebook page a few times that it sounded like I wasn't getting enough gain um, and that might actually have been it. So I swapped it from the tape one monitor to, to the CD in um, and now I'm getting um, the gain is sounding proper again. Um, so there, there may have been um, something might be damaged on the back um, of this device and in fact I even have a possible cause one of the tracks that I was remixing um, I, I may have blown a circuit back there, um, and that might be part of um, the reason why um, it was sounding muffled. Um, again, I'm um, doing a lot of testing. Um, what I actually ended up doing with the with with the, with the streaming server there was I just disabled it. Um, I decided it was um, more likely um, that um, the issue was um, the clock itself, um, or to put it another way, um, there's not really a way, a way around it, even if it was the shutdown. Um, the clock was creating nasty sounds, so rather than try and deal with it, um, I just removed it. Um, and I think that that's something that I had done in the past as well, although I really can't truly recall. Um, so, um, that's gone, um, and it does sound pretty good right now. Um, I'm not completely convinced, um, but I think that this is probably pretty close, um, testing the rest of the night, but, um, and, and it's going to be a late night, um, probably until four or five in the morning, um, 
because I'm feeling that kind of manic excitement. Um, I've been dealing with this for so long, um, and it's been so depressing, and it's kept me down. Um, now that I think that I'm pretty confident that I've got a good signal and I'm pretty close to fixing it, um, all of a sudden I'm really excited. So um, I could be up until noon, actually, even. Um, that's how I tend to work. Um, but um, if, if it's good and it's sounding good, um, that's what I'm doing, and I should hopefully, if I'm lucky, um, if everything's working out, I'll be able to finally get back to mixing within the next few days. Um, yeah. Nope, unfortunately that was a disaster. Um, disabling the server there brought me back to the same issue I was dealing with previously, which was that the only way I can get it to sound right is to take this treble and crank it. Um, although I'm actually not sure if it's that the treble is cutting or if it's that the bass is overloading. They, they kind of the same result one way or the other. Um, but it's not good. Um, worse, by disabling it, um, I had a hard time finding it back. Um, what I had to do was I had to go over to the registry, um, export the thing from the uh, control set 1, uh, and import it to control set 2. Um, and I'll have to see now um, if it appears or not. It does. Okay, so at least it's there. Um, let's see what happens if I launch Cubase. See if it comes up. I should come up with a question mark, hopefully. Right when the direct X comes up. No, it didn't. And that is surprising to me. Okay. It's at least running. Um, are on. Actually, I'm going to have to change the uh, park there first. It doesn't look like it's coming up. I think that if I reinstall the drivers, it will. Um, I'm just switching it to the Alesis ASIO. Time here. It's really awful what it does. Um, it's just like the the entire high end just disappears. It's ridiculous. Um, still not coming up. Huh? I gotta see what it sounds like. There's no high end at all. But it's some of the songs sound okay. Actually, sounds okay. Hmm. More testing required. That sounds alright. And that unexpectedly turned around for me. Um, after a couple of reboots, um, I've got all of my tonal. Um, uh, uh, triggers um, in place. 
Um, I think there's some um, space for um, optimism, actually, here. Um, I'm going to need to do some listening. Um, I kind of expect it's probably going to start fading again, um, but we'll see. Um, at, at the very least, um, it, it is pretty clear um, what I determined this evening is that um, I need to have that streaming proxy um, not disabled. Um, it, it could be not installed, or it could be installed, um, but it, it, it can't be disabled. Um, as soon as I disable it, um, it, it, it falls apart. Um, I, 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 if, the, if this doesn't hold up, I'm going to have to reinstall. Um, be, be, because I'm not... Um, it, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get back to the uh, starting point I was at. Um, so, I hope this works.